When you heal yourself and everything that you've been through, your life begins to feel incredible and it's truly amazing and it's something that you need to experience yourself. Imagine waking up no longer feeling drained, no longer feeling unhappy. Imagine that uncomfortable feeling that sits with you throughout your day, just completely gone. Your healing journey is your transformation that leads you to a better life. So if you're ready to let go of your fears, let go of your worries about your life, and your doubts that you have about yourself and your insecurities, you are ready to heal. And by the end of this video, you will have learned crucial information that will transform your own healing journey. Hi, I'm Sorsha and I help people get unstuck and create powerful results in their life. Now, if my content resonates with you, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button so that you can get more powerful shifts just like this on your feeds. Maybe you've heard of phrases such as, it's time to heal, heal your wounds, heal your past, but what does that actually mean? And if you haven't really healed any part of yourself, how do you know what to do? Well, from my own experience of being on a healing journey, I can tell you that in the beginning, I had no clue. I had no idea what to do, what to expect. But what I found is it's a little bit like life in general. You learn as you go. And through your experience, you learn to know what scares you, what you tend to run away from. And that's what I find is what you need to face. That's what this healing journey is about, is facing that fear, that worry, that doubt, those experiences that you're afraid to see because we don't need to heal love. Love is love. It's, it's a wonderful feeling. It's the experiences that we carry with us that are fear, worry, doubt that lead into our present life. So it's about looking at those experiences that you associate with anxiety, stress, anger, pain, any kind of emotion or even confusion. So healing is a real transformational experience and when you give healing purpose and direction that's when it begins to work miracles in your life. Just like anything else when you give it purpose and direction that's when you start to see results coming into your life and healing is a powerful experience. So the more direction and purpose that you can give it, the more that things will work out for you, the more this healing will heal your entire life. That's if you let it. And, you know, everything is valuable. So everything that feels uncomfortable, we get to turn it into something really beautiful. And that's what healing, that's what I find the essence of healing really is. So what I found in my own healing journey was that when I was a child, I was really shy, I was really anxious, and I felt really depressed um, through several years of my life. And what I found was I had all these fears that I was unable to face at that time. And I was afraid to to be who I am and to really go after life and lean into what I wanted to really do and what really lit me up. And because I was feeling so much negativity in my life, feeling depressed and anxious, I couldn't feel this happiness. And it's sort of going through that healing process, I kind of had that purpose to create happiness in my life and to break free of all this negativity in my life and create a life that, you know, I'd really be proud of and, and happy and, and just so satisfied with. And that's when I found spirituality and that's when it really did change my life. And through using spirituality as a real healing tool, that's when things really did change. 
I started to find techniques that would allow calmness in my life to be able to deal with the uncomfortable feelings and emotions that I was experiencing, understanding my patterns and what I was creating in my life and understanding what was negative and what was positive in my life. And through this healing journey, I've understood as I've grown up is that I started to connect to my heart and my purpose. And that's when I started hearing this calling to use my voice and help others. And it was this incredible realization that I had because I went from being shy and afraid to use my voice and yet my happiness was linked to using my voice and helping others and that was the result of happiness for me and that's when this this is what I mean this is a real transformational experience that you get to have because usually what we don't face and what we're scared of when we overcome that when we heal that that's when we find our true happiness, our true stability within ourselves and we get to use our power in an incredible way. And looking back, it's really this incredible healing process of me coming out of my shell, me opening up. And that's what you'll find on your own journey. We, we need this healing because in some way, in some form, we are shelled up, we're afraid from the experiences that we've had. Something has stopped us, something has blocked us. And that's when we get to heal it and cover it and allow us to really expand in ways that you really feel lit up. It's almost like someone lighting, uh, a f lighting, uh, it's almost like somebody getting a flame and really lighting, like fueling you up and lighting that flame up in inside of you and you just feel like you can do anything and your life is just extraordinary because you've overcome something and and you know that actually you can do this that you can overcome more things more obstacles that are coming in your way so as you go along your journey you will understand that everything is so beautifully connected and it's just about uncovering the clues in your life because we are seeking the path forward, the direction, the purpose and life is reflecting back to us the answers that we are seeking so that we can carry on our journey and one of the most incredible transformations and changes in my life has been healing my voice and realising that this is what I came here to master this is the whole purpose of me coming here and experiencing this life. This is why so many of my challenges have been linked to my voice and standing up for myself and owning my own true power. So use this healing process that you're going through as a reflective journey too, and to look back and see what you've learned, what's, what changes you have gone through as well. And it's kind of like going from the caterpillar who's in the cocoon, who eventually goes and flies out, bursts out of the co cocoon as a beautiful butterfly. And that's what this journey is all about for you. And it's not just about healing one thing in your life, it's about healing everything. And it means that you don't just get to come out as the butterfly once, you get to come out as the butterfly so many times, as many as you want, because that's what the healing journey is. So don't be afraid to heal. Don't be afraid to look at the uncomfortable emotions that, you, that are coming up for you. I know that I was always afraid to ask for help, to talk about my feelings. And when I went to heal through therapy, I found that it didn't quite sit with me. It wasn't what I preferred to do. And I found through trying different uh, healing processes like breathwork, plant medicine, 
that really worked for me in, a, in an amazing way. So really find out what works for you. Try different things because sometimes when you try a healing process and it doesn't quite work for you, it can put you off healing. So try different ways. Some things can be very intense, whereas other practices can be very healing and calm. So like meditation, that's very healing, that's very calm. And that's a, a, a beautiful step to start the healing process. Or if you do something like therapy or counselling, that can be quite intense. Uh, it can throw a lot out there and you've got to look within yourself and think, does this fit right for me? Is this the right way for me right now to go ahead and heal free? Or is there something better that would work better for me? So have a little play around. But I do suggest in the beginning, what really worked for me throughout my healing process was journaling. Journaling is a great way to get out those emotions, get out those experiences, because nobody has to see what you've written. Nobody's judging you. But also you can, you can almost change how intense it can be for you. So if you're, if you're wanting to, step, to do it one step at a time and do it slowly, do it at your own pace. If you would like some guidance and some powerful journaling tips, watch this playlist right here. It's full of videos with tips, powerful tips that have changed my life. I've done about 15 years of journaling and it has been part of a truly healing process and that gets to be for you as well. So watch this playlist right here to get all those tips to start your healing process right now.